Hello. I'm excited to share with you an interesting artwork from the Des Moines Art Center. It's hard to describe, so let's start by taking a minute to see what we can discover by simply looking. First, let's stand back where we can see the whole artwork. As you begin to look, do you notice any shapes or patterns? Do you see shadows? Does it remind you of anything? As you move your eyes around the artwork, what differences do you see from one part to another? Let's move closer. Do you notice any colors or shapes you didn't see before? What does it look like it's made of? Let's move even closer. Now are you getting a different idea of what materials were used to make this artwork? Let's look closely at another section. Can you see words or letters? Can you see how the pieces were put together? This artwork is by an artist named El Anatsui. He grew up in Ghana, which is a country in Africa, and now he lives in Nigeria, another country in Africa. One day, he found a bag of metal bottle caps that someone had thrown away. He noticed the colors and the patterns on the caps, and he decided to try to transform them into something entirely different. Since then, he has collected more metal bottle caps and used them to make many amazing artworks, and each one is unique. The title of this artwork is Basin. Because most of El Anatsui's artworks are very large and involve many pieces, he can't make them all by himself. He hires people in his community to help him make them. His helpers cut and bend bottle caps and combine them in many different ways. The bottle caps are made of aluminum, the same thing a pop can is made of. Let's step back and take another look at the entire artwork. Does it look heavy or light? What do you think it would look like if we took it off the wall? What if we hung it from the ceiling or put it on the floor? Would it change its shape? Elinot Sui thinks about the life cycle of materials such as these bottle caps. He thinks about where they came from, who handled them, and how they were used before they were thrown away. He thinks about how materials are moved around the world and transformed into different things. Do you ever wonder what happens to things after you throw them away? What could you make with something nobody wants anymore?